Does this look familiar to you? How about this one? Or maybe this? That's life in the modern world. Or is it? Welcome to the Fly Bee, a radical solution to the commuter blues or for any free spirit longing to take the high road. Created by two flying free thinkers, Captain Gary Pilot and aeronautical engineer Mark Rumsey, the Fly Bee is the world's first electric flying bicycle, combining the freedom of the ultralight category aircraft with the practical and green utility of the recumbent bicycle. Mark, an aeronautical engineer based in Los Angeles, faced the nightmare of California commuter traffic daily and began researching ways to beat it. That's when he met Gary. Captain Gary Pylan is not your typical airplane driver. His father was a true aviation pioneer, test pilot, and aeronautical engineer from Northrop. His mother was also a licensed pilot. Gary likes to say he was flying before he was born. He grew up on the airport his parents founded near Phoenix, Arizona, building, repairing, and flying airplanes of all kinds. Gary's own flying career spans over 50 years, and everything from four-engine transports to gliders to airshow stunt planes. Always a free spirit, Gary was never much interested in the typical airline or corporate bus driver type of flying. Instead, he spent decades taking on one adventure after another fighting forest fires across the West, traveling to South America to recover a classic World War II B-17 bomber from the jungle, flying through a nuclear bomb mushroom cloud for the Atomic Energy Commission at the Nevada Nuclear Test Site. Even a stint in the movies as pilot of a B-17 in Hawaii for the 20th Century Fox classic film, Tora Tora Tora. You can find him listed in the IMDB movie database for that one. When Mark told Gary about his vision of a small, personal aircraft to escape the L.A. commuter nightmare, Gary had the answer. My dad and I built and flew a machine that could do that way back in the 1950s, he told Mark. Gary explained that even with 50s technology, it flew great. It could take off with almost no runway. With a modest headwind, it would almost hover, but was fast enough to be practical. And by upgrading to modern materials, modern electrics and electronics, and modern aerodynamics, it might be just what Mark was looking for. That's how the Fly B was conceived. Weeks of engineering followed. Fly B had to be safe, easy to operate and fly, easy to store and transport, reliable, sturdy, yet lightweight. All these challenges were met. Although based on Gary's brilliant 1950s design, the Fly B is all new. A modern recumbent bicycle with a difference. Wings and an electric propulsion system. It flies. There's a common perception these days that big advances in aviation and technology always come from giant corporate or governmental research departments with budgets of millions or even billions of dollars. Well, the world's first practical airplane was designed by two bicycle mechanics and it was built in their bicycle shop in Ohio. That was Orville and Wilbur Wright. Now, a century later, the wheel has revolved full circle as two aircraft professionals are building a flying bicycle in an airplane shop. Classed as an ultralight vehicle under U.S. Federal Aviation Regulations Part 103, no pilot's license is needed to own or fly the Fly B. With wings folded, it will store in a garage corner, but can be taken out and pedaled to the store in minutes. Or the wings extended and flown anywhere. The Fly B will be a dream machine for a lot of people. But it takes a team to build a dream. The visionaries, the risk takers, the groundbreakers, Mark, Gary, and you. That may be why you're on this page right now. Looking for a team with a winning idea in need of a winning edge. Indiegogo crowdfunding has given all of us that winning edge. Join us. Be a part of the Fly Bee Dream Team.